let's talk about Kyle Shanahan because it's easy to look at this game and be like, well, Nick Mullins blew it. If they had their starting quarterback, they win. Maybe. Maybe. I saw Jimmy Garoppolo lose on this field just a few weeks ago. The Niners are 0-2 at home. And when Jimmy lost that game in against the Cardinals, it wasn't all his fault. When Mullins lost this game, it wasn't all his fault either. What I see is an offense with no run game. Jerick McKinnon is playing his butt off. Give Jerick McKinnon credit. He's working extremely hard for the yards that he gets. There's no holes. And it's the offensive line gets a big part of the blame there. But isn't there some type of adjustment Kyle Shanahan could make? He had injuries last year. He had Mike Person on his line last year. He lost Joe Staley. There were games when he had Daniel Brunskill at left tackle, Justin School at left tackle. Both of them started at the same time. Runs game, run game still worked. So what's the deal? Last year, he always had an adjustment and was one step ahead. Where is it this year? I don't see the creativity in the run game. And this is a big picture issue. Mullins is not a big picture issue. Jimmy's going to play next week, most likely, or CJ. This is an issue, the run game. That's not magically going to get fixed, even when Raheem Mostert comes back. Because the issue right now, to me, is the design of the plays and the blocking. Now, Kyle Shanahan, you're not getting the, you're not getting the blocking you want. You're not getting the, the, the looks you want in the run game. Well, well, you know that you can hand off to your, high, to your wide receivers and your tight end. You do that. You hand off to Brandon Ayuk, Debo Samuel, George Kittle on jet sweeps, reverses, and end arounds. He did it in the first half. All those plays were good. Ayuk had a, a 30-something yard touchdown run. Debo Samuel had a 10-yard gain. Kittle had like an 8-yard gain. Those were the best plays the Niners had in their offense. Been the best plays in their playbook since midway through the season last year. Shanahan calls them in the first half, doesn't call them in the second half. What the hell is that? What is that? How smart do you have to freaking be to not call your best play in the second half? That's genius. That is freaking genius. Oh, my God. It's next-level thinking because they're expecting you to call your successful plays. They know they can't stop it. They're expecting you to come back to it, so you're not going to do it. Ooh, 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 ooh. Everyone's expecting me to call the plays that average 20 yards a pop, so I'm not going to. I'm going to st stick with running the ball up the middle with Jarek McKinnon because they'll never expect it. What is that? I'm sorry. I'm not smart enough to understand that level of genius, Kyle. And I don't want to – I'm not being too snarky here, but you've lost both home games, and this run game is so beneath you. This game management is so beneath you. You're allowed to call end arounds in the second half. You're allowed to stick with your best plays. If a play works once, you're allowed to call it twice. There's no rule against that. That's on you, Kyle. So that's just your, your, your play calling. And then game management. What the hell was that onside kick? I didn't understand it at the time. I mean, let's put aside what it looked like because it looked ridiculous. It looked like a like a ground like a grounder double play, or 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 like before a game in soccer where you see the guy like warming up the 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 the, the goalie, or he's just like rolling balls to the goalie. Like that's what that was. Anyway, forget the execution, the actual call, going for the onside kick. I mean, if your defense had given up thirty five points in that game and it was clear they weren't going to get a stop, I get it, but they hadn't. The defense had basically played well. I mean, they were undisciplined at time. They gave up some scrambles. They gave up the long touchdown catch to whatever that dude's name was, number 13, Travis, whatever, the, whatever, Fulgham. Fine. We knew that they were most likely going to force a three and out. The Eagles were going to run three times. I mean, I, you give yourself a chance to get the ball back, but you're not going to get that onside kick. So when your defense does its job, when your defense does what everyone expects it to do, then the punt pins you at your 12. You lose. Game over. Game. So now you need C.J. Beathard to, to, to drive the, the offense 88 yards with no timeouts in a minute? Not going to happen. And he came close. So, Kyle, you got to be better. Because Jimmy Garoppolo isn't going to magically fix all of these issues. He won't. He's a good quarterback. These issues are bigger than him. These are Kyle Shanahan issues. They've lost two games they shouldn't have lost. The Niners should be 4-0 right now, even with all the injuries they've had. And Kyle has a big responsibility in that. And I hope he understands that. I hope he doesn't go home tonight and say, we just didn't execute. No, 
Oh, you did execute. They executed the end arounds. Ayuk executed when he was a ball carrier. So did Debo. So did Kittle. You can have a run game that isn't all about your running backs. Kyle, look in the mirror. Do better. You can. You've shown it. You're a hell of a coach. A hell of a coach. Do better. Do better.